days everyone what's going on welcome back to the channel i'm john rone with sophisticated redneckery tv that's right we are i got an exciting thing going on this week heading to ocean city for the ocean city classic <laughs> All right, you can see behind me my favorite hotel, the Micro Hotel here in Ocean City. You know what we got going on. We are here, but of course, right when I get here, I got a wiring issue. My trailer line got snapped off, so now I got to fix the wiring on the trailer really quick, so I'm legal on the road. Okay, so I got down here. I just fixed the wiring on the trailer. It took two seconds, but I got a call from Morgan, or a text from Morgan. He said, the eels died. He bought 50 eels this morning, and they all died. But I can almost guarantee you that they put them in water. And if you put eels in water, a little bit of water, it's not circulating water, they will die in their own urine. So they will suffocate and then die in their own urine. I bet you that's what happened. But this trip is starting off expensive already because I don't know if we have to get more eels. It's probably $80 worth of eels. I don't know. This stuff happens. It's just part of the deal, I guess. Googans, we are Googans. And the thing is, you know, we all learn from our mistakes. Hopefully we learn from our mistakes and I teach my boys this all the time. And I learned that lesson the first time I got eels. Just learn from your lessons, right? Even us at 45 years old, Morgan at 28, my boys at seven and nine. <laughs> We're always learning, y'all, always learning. But hey, that's what's awesome about this YouTube community and Instagram and social media networks. We can learn from each other. And that's one of the reasons I love doing this stuff that, hey, hopefully from this video, you guys will learn, don't ever put your eels in water. Wet towel in the bottom of a bucket or a cooler, let them just soak up the water from that and they'll crawl around, they'll be good to go for days. Sunset Marina here in Ocean City, we're checking in for the Ocean Inshore Classic 2020. Let's go do this. All right. Hey, how you doing? I'm oh, sorry, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, so snafu number three, guys. We go in to sign up and it's cash check only. First of all, who the hell has checks? Nobody has checks anymore, so I didn't have checks. And I was $20 short, like the entry fee is 375 because we're, we're trying to pay the bonus, right? The Calcutta, which is kind of like the bonus money. You get more money if you win um, or place, so we're doing that. So this cat did not have enough cash on him. Are you just gonna cut the corner there? Look at this guy right here. He didn't care. That guy, whoever you are, buddy. All right, we're gonna uh, go get some AT. We're gonna hit the ATM, cats. We're gonna make it rain in this joint. Who's this guy? What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? Good. It's been a while. You guys remember him? You saw him at the Potomac last time, right? Good to see you, brother. How you doing, Carlos? So they're gonna be angling as well out here this weekend. This will be fun. It's been a good time, man. Hey, all right, guys. So we got the pleasure of coming down here, getting in the Ocean City Classic this weekend, and gentlemen, right here, Scott Lennox. Nice to meet you. Nice finally, to meet you too, man. heard so much about Scott from Morgan, and uh, I think he might have a man crush on you. But <laughs> uh, Scott's with uh, Hooked on OC, so you guys get over there and check down Hooked on OC. Does awesome stuff with everything around here. It's from from crabbing to everything. fishing yeah. and everything. Shore fishing, offshore fishing, inshore yeah. fishing, yeah. everything. So that's what's cool about these events. You get to meet so many people you see on Instagram and social media. So finally meet nice family, right? Nice yeah. online family. That's, that's right. <laughs> social media. So, there you go, guys. Sure. Check them out. So you know, you get here, you're meeting all these people, and man, we ran into line dancer, baby. We talk all the time on social media, back and forth, and now we get to finally go toe to toe. That's right. That's right. See what's up? And I was about to ask him his secrets for tomorrow. Well, we share secrets, but not too much. You know, we were saving it for this weekend, but we'll see what happens. And these guys' crew over here. This is his crew. What's your name again? Jim? Tom. Tom. Alright, so you guys will probably see us like pointing out to them as they're struggling tomorrow. That's right. We'll see what happens. Uh, we wish everybody good yeah, luck, yeah, but yeah. it's awesome to finally be able to meet yeah. you and yeah, uh, you know, put a name in your face yeah. and all that stuff. Absolutely. This is what we're all going for tomorrow, guys, right here. That's the one that Morgan's going to win, I'm sure. <laughs> So hey, good luck to these guys. We awesome meet them, and uh, we'll see you guys down there. All right, so we're sitting here in the hotel. We're gonna start rigging up some stuff, but this is how I keep track of my son playing baseball when I'm not there. Game changer, play by play. Strike two. The count is zero and two. <laughs> That's what I did. How cool! This is little league. He strikes out looking. Casey pitching. W remains at that a boy Casey. Way to go, buddy. 
All right, so sitting here making up a couple rigs. Got our bucktails with some paddle tails. Or bucktails. Got our jig heads with some paddle tails. And we got my jig heads with some flukes. Whites, pinks, all sorts of colors, goodiness right in here. It's kind of fun sitting in the hotel just doing this. This is what you do when you go, go on the road, right before you fish. Tournament or not. All right, morning everybody. So you know I couldn't just come in here and get bait because God forbid we do that. Had to get a new little toy. All right, what is that, my man? What do we get? Daiwa Alexa HD 400. The Daiwa Alexa HD 400. All right, so Steve just hooked me up. He got it all spooled up for me. We're heading out with that today. They're always great here at All Tackle. You guys know that. We love this place. So, matte black finish, crank and power handle. That's sexy. That'll work. Here to put it in. Look who's here. Also, what's going on? You guys, remember Chris from the crabbing video? I was gonna say my best crabbing video, but you just got taken over by Sykes. Sykes' video last week, you guys, four, over 400 videos, 400 views in one week. So that was pretty exciting. But Chris is with us today. As I told you, he's coming. We're going to rock this thing, Morgan and Chris and I, and we're excited. What's the key word for the day? Win. That's it. Win. I like it. See, this is a ball player's attitude. That's it. Win. <laughs> Win. I love it. It took us like two hours, but we got a fish. At least we got something in the boat. Had a boy, Chris. All right, so the fish just weren't cooperating at the bridge, so we decided to move out to the jetty here. And you can see us pulling up some fish, boom, a little sea bass. And Morgan's gonna pull up a small tog right here and then fit and Chris a rock fish. So we're running the gamut of fish, just not getting what we need to get on the board for the tournament. Chris is on right here. You gotta say fish on, bro. Fish on. Oh my god, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. First tall, too. Uh, out, baby. Check it out, yo. Got a sheepy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go. There we go. Boom. Hey, we're finally at least catching fish. Hey, we're catching fish. That's all we can it's ask for. It's been a right? terrible two and a half, three hours. Oh, that's your first dog? That's my first one ever. Oh, yeah, yeah I need a I need a picture of this. You need to say fish on. Oh, sorry, I don't think about it. It's alright. So that's your that's your biggest sheep probably so That's far? my biggest sheep, yeah. That's the biggest sheep's head. He's got his tongue. Hey, we're out here catching some fish. There we go. Oh. Ooh, this is stud. This is stud. New rod stud. Oh, red line. Fifteen and a half inch tog. There we go. First one of the fall for me. Morgan's on. That's no, it's not. But more at least Morgan on the board and on the video. Here we go. I've been on a draw streak a little bit. I haven't really been catching any fish. And uh, yeah, it's been been, been, been a tough turning so far. And uh, yeah, we're making it happen. Oh, all right. Thanks for letting me catch you. Peace out. Oh, call those the count is one call those tater togs. Tater togs. Like tater togs. Togs. Oh, I didn't even know I had them. Oh, that's a nice sheet. Right there. I'm in the cooler, PV baby. PV right there. PV. All right. 
Got another one. This is my biggest sheep set I've ever got. Probably a little 12 incher. You know what I'm saying? You can't pinch it because you can't get your line. Oh, a little rush. Sampley. Oh my god, there it is. Oh, 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 okay. Give me a striper. Nice little dog. Get him his 16 or get him his keeper. Oh, I guess we'll have to see. That's 15 and a half. Dude, we just said literally. That's a rock fish. Chasing him. That's a nice fish. You're getting that, Chris. Bluefish. Bluefish. All right, so it was the bluefish chasing the little mullet. Right. Look at all the mullet he's spitting up. Come on, get that hook out. Come on, get back out there. It's always chaos. My, if it's, it doesn't matter if it's Morgan, myself, or my boys. It's chaos. It's just chaos. Second blue in the boat. Whew. That's smaller than the other one you caught, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Arr. All right, get him in the cooler. Morgan's got another one. Yeah, Morgan. Oh, found him. Look at that. He's got a flatty. That's cool as shit. Pretty cool Sorry. how I got him on the swim bait on the old Roy rig, you know. He's a little bit of a pop top, and we'll let him go, let him go, let him grow, as I was like to say. Oh, thanks for letting us know. That's a nice fish. Watch it be like. Oh, he's got double, that's why. He's got two, you might want to get a net on that one. He got twos. The one might be a keeper. That one's a pretty nice fish right there. You want the net, bro? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we finally caught something, right? Chris did, not me. But at least we caught something. All right, so this is the way our day's been going. We've come back into the bridge. We're fishing. Chris has got a nice little fish on. It's going to be another big blue fish. Um, and, you know, you got to battle to get these fish out of these bridge pilings. They will dart between those pilings, run around all over the place. And, man, they'll, they'll just dart out, grab your bait, dart back in. And if your line hits those pilings with all those barnacles and things on them, they're gone. So you can see fish bat uh, Chris battling this fish to the boat. And we get it to the boat. Sure enough. <coughs> Doing story of the day. That's right, for real. You know we love these things. Hey, day one in the books. How would you summarize day one, bro? Well, you know how um, you're walking in the middle of the night and you stub your toe because it's dark. You ever feel that kind of pain? That's the kind of pain we're all kind of feeling right now. But we caught fish, so can't complain. Hey, we got some keepers in the boat. Uh, God, Morgan, this is a 15 minute long video. Yeah.